Hi, I'm Lynn with AccuQuilt, and I am so excited to be here at Quilt in a Day with Eleanor Burns. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're working on the log cabin today, and Lynn, did you know this is my favorite kind of quilt? The log cabin is my thing. Because I can totally understand. You, I love I, the log cabin. The, la, 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 I think we should start okay, over. Right. I don't think we knew. I thought you were going to say more that we're going to do the first series, first in a series of um, quilts or blocks into quilts. Okay, with the with the bobs, the block on board. Yeah, okay. that's what. I'll yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. I'll do more of an intro. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. It's okay. Got to get warmed up. Yeah, I know we're warming up. Still recording. Hi, I'm Lynn with AccuQuilt, and I am so excited to be here at Quilt in a Day with Eleanor Burns. Thank you. And today we're going to talk about a new series about bobs or block on board dies <laughs> with Go Dies. I love the name Bob. <laughs> He's our friend, huh? That's really? right. <laughs> well, we're starting with my favorite quilt, The Log Cabin, because this is the first book that I wrote in 1978 on how to make a log cabin quilt in a day. Wow. That's that, pretty good. Yes. And so now this is, all, we call this our 25th anniversary edition, which is just too funny because it's now 40 years. But nonetheless, I still love log cabin. So have you ever made a log cabin? I actually haven't. Aha, uh -huh, you're going <laughs> to love it. Well, it just has a good story. The center is always red. That's the center of the log cabin or the fire, the chimney. And it always has a light side. On mine, I do three lights, and that is the sun okay. that's coming into the front of the log cabin. And then the dark side is the shadow behind the log cabin. And so it's just all about life itself. Makes sense. Exactly. So. We have an even quicker way. That's right. It's quilt and a half a day on the log <laughs> cabin. I just want to show you the, how I use the die. All right. I love it. This is one of our big dies. I like this, huh? Right. And this was designed by? Leslie Main. Leslie Main. And it is huge. It will make, it, it's 12 inch blocks. That's right. That's 12 inch blocks, but actually, 12 inch blocks are a little bit bigger than I like to use in my log home. It's more like this size. This is the size that we are going to be working on today. My blocks end up being 8 inches. And then you can go ahead and put it all together. And if you use my book, you can make cute little 8 inch blocks. But look at how many ways you can lay it together. Is that good? That's amazing. It is. I was. We were just talking earlier uh -huh. that you could make the same log cabin block and just make so many quilts with just that same block with all the different configurations. You're right. You're right. Because that's what people do. They can't get. They can't get. Uh, they can't get away from it once they start their hook. Okay. So this is what I've done. The cool thing is, is that it is divided right down through the middle. This die is divided right down through the middle. So this is what ends up making the block larger. I've chosen to just work with one half of it so that I can make my smaller blocks. They're only one and a half inch strips. That's pretty cool. But I'm just going to layer. I, I think I put about, ooh, looks like close to six layers. This is good. So I'm just going to put my strips on the bottom half and make sure that I have covered all of the blades. I'm looking good. This guy's sticking out a little bit. Okay, so do you have the mat for the yes. top? Yes, here you go. Okay, so this is like so fun to use. Right. Um, I taught this class at my log home in, Ju in Julian. It was like make a log cabin quilt in a log home and we had so much fun. That sounds pretty special. We're using the Go Big fabric cutter, which is hands off, so it makes it so easy. All right, we could do a dance well, while this is let's going through. Twist. Woo! Hey, we're swinging. We are. <laughs> and with these 10 by 24 dies, you have you have actually a couple of minutes to we do, do a long like dance. That. That's right. We could do a long dance. Well, while she's getting that ready, I'm going to show you 
how to lay out the strips. I actually cut my little one and a half inch center. I cut it red. I'm so traditional. I have to have a red center. So I just use my rotary cutter and my ruler to cut the one and a half inch red just for the center. And then I'm just going to pull those pieces right off the die and explain it as we go. Okay. So if you see, you start here at the center and you have two lights. And then you have two darks. And then you have two lights and two darks. And you just keep on going around. So I'm going to peel this off. And boy, I have a good start. OK, so that's my one and a half. And beside it, when it's sewn, this is going to be two and a half. So that's my two lights. But now I'm just going to keep on moving across because they get an inch longer each time. So that's three and a half, four and a half. This is so fun. Five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. And actually, I don't even need this last one for my block. But what I do is I keep it and I cut it smaller whenever I run out or okay. screw up or whatever. OK, so that is the whole light side, each time going up a half, uh, one inch. So now Gotta I can cut. just, oh, you, you, oh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot. I You've need to had do that. Training. That's right. So now this is the dark. And I have, I don't know, maybe four to six. You can cut up to six layers. Right, OK. It's and probably about six. And just line it up on the die so that you get it all covered. So what do you think about getting all those perfect strips just like that? It makes it so easy it when really, you don't have to worry about measuring. It really is. Okay. It really is. And what I did in 78 was I tore my strips. I'd just swing them in the air and have so much fun. I got a reputation real early in my life. Such a racy lady out there stripping. But I'm calming down. All right, so here we got the, the darks cut. OK, and slide and off the Slide the mat, the mat off. Slide the mat. Going to lose a couple pieces there. Cool. Yeah, you have to really slide the mat off carefully so all the, the pieces don't just fall apart. Okay. Sometimes I forget, but if you put, your pre put pressure on the mat and kind of slide it, then it works. And just get rid of all it the extra. It does help. Oh, Oops. you're good. OK, there's okay. the dark pieces. So now we're going to just eliminate the first two because now we want to sew the dark. Now we're starting on the dark, and it's the same size, and we're going along to, this, to the next dark. So we need to have that piece right there, OK? And you're going to put that right in there. So now it's two, and now it's two, and we've gone to right here. Now we're going to start into the light. And so it's right beside. It's the same size. And let's just push this one next. And then we just keep on moving to the next dark. Oops, wait, I skipped one. How did I do that? Let me see. <laughs> Where did I pick it up from? It it's a good thing yeah. it's still there. OK, so now that's going to go the dark. And I'm going around the corner to dark. And that's the same size. And you just keep on going, two. So it's always two, 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 two. And look, I'm getting right out to the end. And that's the last one. Let me see. And I don't even think I need that one. There we go. There we we go. got it all lined up. All right, so that's great. You're just using the, you're, you're just setting it all up so it's an easy assembly sew. Right. So now I got to get it off, off here. So. Let me get my chair. It's a quarter of an inch seam. It's 15 stitches to the inch. And so now let's just go ahead and take these two uh, strips right here. Let's just take, oops, strips. I called them strips. They're not strips. They're just little pieces. So let's just start in the center. And I put a little jumper strap in there. And you're just going to put your one and a half inch light on the top. and 
whatever you're making. Um, I think it's really good to make blocks in groups of four because you can always do so many interesting things. How many you're going to make. Um, maybe a, a king size would take 36 blocks. You can't do a king size in a day. No, <laughs> no, forget that. Okay, so I'm just going to do one more so that I have three started. And then I'm just going to cut and I want you to... Set the seam okay. with the light on top. All right. And then just open and press toward the light. Okay. I've sent my little jumper scrap along there. Okay, so actually, you can just go ahead and set that one back in your stack. Now, when those are pressed and opened, this is the stack that we need next. So it's two and a half. And if my seam is good, it's going to fit perfect. Okay, so how are you coming, girl? Got to make sure my iron is hot. Yes, a lot of people don't like to iron, and I could just do it with my fingernail. Maybe we'll just do it with the fingernail, huh? So it goes real quick. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then use your cutting gizmo. You can just okay. cut them apart and stack them up. This is well, remember, make your noise. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. Okay, okay, that's good. So now I'm just going to take this. I've got the press, seam press. So now what I'm going to do is just take and flip this piece right sides together to the two and a half. See, it's perfect. Ooh, perfect cuts. It's, it's a great way to start. Perfect cuts make better quilts. Listen, I I didn't expect, but my last student that I had in my webinar, she came in and she was so excited. She said that she made her best quilt ever just because she did perfect cuts in the beginning. Okay, so then it's just like assembly line. You just keep on putting these right sides together and just assembly line. I have my uh, sh sew straight on here and I'm just using my quarter inch line and it's going really good. It gets, takes a long time in the beginning. You think you're not going to get off of it, but it doesn't take long. Okay, so I'm just going to put this back because I'm only doing three. Okay, cut the thread. Now I'm going to kick it up a notch. I'm just going to use my finger. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so you put the two and a half on top. You just open it. Ta-da! And just run your fingernail across there. It works pretty good if you have a good set of nails. <laughs> well, I know that when I go home, I, this is I'm making a log cabin quilt. Yeah. Okay. This looks so very you easy. You like it? Yes. Okay, let's get your little cutter. We're oh. going to cut them. Okay. Cut them apart. And so now I'm moving down along. I just used the two and a half light. Now I need to have the two and a half dark. And we're just going to see. You keep your stacks consistent. And see, that is going to fit right on there. So you just pick this up. Let's see, I'm not sure how far we're going to go until you get the idea. You can tell me when you get the idea and I'll stop, but it's really fun. Okay, so you just keep on next one. And it is fun to do scrappy. I, I really um, prefer scrappy now. I think the quilts are more interesting. I used to do um, three lights and three darks on my... Um, in my first book with the artist, but now, okay. Okay. We're good. So we just keep going around and around. Yep, yep. Matching so them up. I'm gonna turn them over. I always turn them over. The strip that you just added is on the top. Okay. You just pick up your strip. You can uh, use your fingernail or whatever, and you just keep on going. So now you cut it apart. Okay. I had the three and a half. I'm just going to pick up the next one. And you just oh, keep them in a the stack. Uh-huh, keep them in a the stack. 
Yep. There you go. Okay, so I actually needed to pick up my, um, this one. I went too far ahead. So this one is just going to fit right on there. That's great. And you can already see it coming together. Yeah. And you just keep on doing. You make sure you put the light on the light side, the dark on the dark <laughs> side. And when you're done, you just go, ta-da! There it is. And look at the back side, how perfect it's pressed. And from this point, you can do so many different layouts. Mm -hmm. This one is called Fields and Furrows. Oh. There's well, hundreds of ways. And your book has a, has a I think, the best selection of different layouts that I've ever seen. So yes! lots of choices.